Hey everyone, it's Pegmus here with uh, another video. It's been a little bit of time since my last video, but I've uh, moved up to Iowa and have been busy fixing up a house. So we recently adopted a cat, and I saw a picture of this on the internet, so I decided to design my own cat tree in the shape of a TARDIS. Now I've already got the drawing done, so we've already got the dimensions ready to go. Uh, this video will be in two parts. This will be part one where we actually draw each of the individual components and then part two will actually make it into an assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, this is five feet tall by two feet wide and two feet deep. Uh, cats like to have a high vantage point apparently so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the bottom which will be 24 by 24. Uh, we'll do file new, we'll do a part, we'll do sketch, center rectangle from the top plane, we'll start at the origin, and just extend it out, hit the green check mark, we'll go to smart dimension, pick one of the lines, one of the sides, type in 24 inches, go to the other one, 24, hit the green check mark, Features, extrude boss base, and we will do from the mid plane and we'll do 20, oop, not 24 inches, we'll do 1 inch. And the green check mark, we'll hit Control S to save it. Check base. I've already saved these files originally, so I'm just going to go ahead and override them. Okay, then we'll do File, New, another part. It's kind of a rinse and repeat. They're all very geometric shapes. Uh, another center rectangle from the top plane. And this one is smaller. It is 21 inches, I believe. There we go. This is that dimension, so that's 21 inches. Twenty-one inches. And green check mark, extrude boss base, do one inch from the mid plane. Control S, base number two. And base one and base two stack on top of each other. File new part. This will be the side we're going to do. If we look at the original plan, we see that the side is 22 and a quarter by 57. And we'll do this from the right plane. Smart dimension, we'll do 22.25. By 57. Green check mark. And let's double check on the thickness of that door. Half an inch right here. So we'll do features, extrude boss base, mid plane, 0.5 inches, check mark, control S. is the side then we will get the back which is the same height but a little bit thinner at 21 inches another new part Front plane, sketch, center, one. By fifty seven. Check mark, extrude boss base, half an inch. Mid plane. Uh, 
and control S, this will be the back. Alright, the next part we want to do will be the top, which is the same dimensions as the base, but since we plan to put like a hole in it, we actually want to make that its own file. So another new part. Do from the top plane, center rectangle, smart dimension, 24 by 24, green check mark, extrude boss base, mid plane, one inch, green check mark, control S, we're going to make this the top. And then we'll do the frame as the next file, but real quick, we're just going to draw a quick circle just anywhere we want. No dimensions for this because that's kind of up to whoever wants to do it. Alright, control S, that's the top. And then we'll do the frame, which will be the same dimensions as the second base we did. So do another new part. Sketch on the top plane. Smart dimension 21 by 21. And we're going to do offset entities, which essentially just lets you Um, take a line that exists and duplicate it without having to do a whole, whole other center rectangle. It's more helpful on bigger projects, but I just want to show this one off. We'll hit uh, reverse so it uh, goes inside, so the outside dimensions are still 21 inches. And we're doing it by a quarter inch. Green check mark. The extrude boss base. We're going to do one inch from the Mid plane, green check mark, control S, frame. All right, and then the last thing we'll do is the shelves. We're going to do new part. Oh, I hear the kitten in the background. And these will just kind of be like the shelves where it can stand on. And we'll make them. 12 inches, so one foot, and then from the back extending outwards will be that part. So here's the back wall, here's the side wall, right? It'll go out 12 inches, but it'll be, let's do a foot and a half, so let's do 18 inches. And then we'll make those just a quarter inch thick, so 0.25. From the mid plane. We'll save that. Hit Control S. That'll be the shelf. And you can do the shelf however you want. You corner out to here and then do a rounded uh, part, so it's more of a rounded shelf. Really, that one is up to whoever. So that's it for part one. We've got all the components of the Cat Tree Tardis in place. Part two will be the assembly. So I'll put a link to that in the video, one of those little extendable bars, I actually don't remember what they're called. Uh, so thanks for watching, and go ahead and hit that for the next video.